Oh, good, it's Brady. Go. Hi, boys. Look how happy. Hi, Brady. Hi. 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 Papas. Come here, boys. Come here. Goodness. He's so sweet. You are sleeping. Hi. Hi. Oh, there we go. High five. High five. <laughs> High five. Hey, hey, hey. Get <laughs> what's up guys welcome to today's video so as you guys last saw we had a mold problem that caused us i can't stop i can't stop to do some deep cleaning and yeah <laughs> um like every little crevice of the rv so what we also realized was we were starting to gain some extra stuff that we necessarily didn't need so we have since gone through and cleared out a bunch of stuff and we also picked up some new storage containers and a toolbox because Matt's tool so, case got moldy. So it's just a little plastic container. So his last tool chest tool, yeah, was tool fabric. Case. It was like a little tool carrying case and it got mold on it. So we trashed that. So now we have this and these little containers we picked up from Target, they are, it says that there's a air and moisture resistant seal. So we also learned... Hey, that's going to resist mold too, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. So yeah, we also learned that just in case the mold happens again, whatever is down there, we would like to keep safe from it. We're going to do some reorganizing. But yeah, and so that, that's the thing. So we're getting ready for like, in case this ever happens again. Like it shouldn't because we're buying a dehumidifier. I'm, uh, what's it called? I'm spraying antimicrobials pretty much on everything. On everything. Like all like floors and side surfaces. Anything where like water could have dripped down. <coughs> the lighting is real bad. I know. I lost my voice too. This video is just bad. Just a bad video. So yeah, sprayed everything down. Uh, so nothing should ever grow again in here. Ever. And so, but just in case like something does end up happening, like, you know, we leave for a couple days, the dehumidifier stops working, something like that. We're just going to at least protect items that we do care about. Because obviously we do care about certain items. We're not just getting rid of everything and saying like, Oh, don't just live minimally. Live without items at all. Just live with yourself. Can't even do that. So, oh, that was sad. <laughs> this video just took a turn. That was sad. <laughs> oh no, I can live with myself. I like me. Um, but so yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just kind of protecting things. We're also just organizing. So I got tired of just reaching in and searching for things through our little nook down there. So we have like a, a way in right here. Obviously, a big area. But like I do some quick grabs from the outside. Um, I'd like to be able to just know what's in containers, be able to grab a container out, pop it open, get what I need, and put it back in. So mm -hmm. it's more so just me organizing. I, I like to organize. I was also looking, and this is something that I would like to do as we're starting this new organization spring cleaning thing, um, slide out drawers for the pantry. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? I'm reorganizing your whole thing. Or like slide out. Slide out would be tough, mainly because you're losing space at that point. So you actually have a lip on this guy, just even though it's tiny, it's like you're still losing about half an inch of space, which yeah, it's not a lot, but the things things can fall between it and it kinda gets annoying. I almost just want to do like it doesn't have to be like a nice slide out. We could just do like a container like this, but actually fit it. You know? And then that keeps everything within the container at least, and you just pull the container out and then grab what you need out and then put it back all in. So we have to actually, I could even build that. It would be completely custom. Why are you just, why are you slow blinking me right now? You just want to go buy it? You just want to go find something and buy it? When, when would you have time to make it? Today. So you're gonna just whip that up today. Just make that happen, three shelves for this. Yeah. Why don't we just put some wood on marbles and just, mm. Why don't we just get some silly putty? I don't know what it will do, but <laughs> It'd be fun to have some silly putty. <laughs> what do you want, Blair? I don't know. Do you want some drawers or not? <laughs> yes. I'll do it. 
Yes. And we need to get rid of all. We just need to go through every single drawer. I know. I know. We'll go to the gym first, okay? We'll get your little workout in. I know you like to work out. You like your fitness. No, 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 no. <laughs> the thing about RVs also, once you start one little cleaning task, you realize that one, you're unorganized and you need to start a new organization product and project process. Project? And two, everything else is dirty. So it's like, oh, I'm going to clean the dog area. And then you find all of these other things and then it just starts this whole new it's like, yeah, now I wish the dog area was kind of bigger. Oh, I'm going to rip this whole section out. Pretty much. Actually, the next next project. <laughs> so I feel like each different thing that we've done in the RV has sparked a whole new project. We call it a proj. And while we're here, like not going anywhere, we might as well. And hopefully the weather will be okay. Seriously, so this, this weather just gets us down in like every way. It's not like one day of rain. It's like they give you one day of sunshine and then the rest of the days are rain for like weeks. Mm -hmm. They... Yeah, so that's what we're dealing with. Just uh, just trying to keep ourselves busy and then motivated. So, in an RV. Yep, and we're going to go work out. No, remember? We're going to work out. No, because I don't want to leave here and then get back here and notice that there's work not out. enough Let's storage. Let's go to the gym. I need to put Look this at you. Will you turn on that light over there? That's a good... That was a good idea. So instead of screwing holes in the walls, you just use two command hooks. What? what? That's His simple. reasoning for getting the shelf was because I always set stuff right there. It's always falling. Like, yeah, I always set little things right there and it's it's my spot of things to not forget when I leave or things that I need quickly. So, shelf, ta-da, that's awesome. Ding! Let's see if it works. Good job, see, now we'll put this up here. Wow! Now we got extra hooks too. What are we gonna do with these hooks? We can hang our- Nope, nope. I don't, want jacket. Oh. I don't even like winter <laughs> jackets there. I know. Yeah, so, okay. We finished all the, the bin stuff. Yes. Show, show, show. Well, and I'm tired of showing all this. So this is not done yet, too. I wanted to talk about that briefly. So if you can see, like, this thing has screws on the back of it that keep rubbing against our back thing. I want to get oh, new yeah. pillows. Like, right, the idea right. was to put pillows all along here and pillows there. back there. And then whenever you put this down, all you do is yeah. put some pillows down. Pillows are freaking expensive. Pillows are pretty expensive. They're like 25 bucks each yeah. for a good size. It's like we can get one of those laser uh, air pressure readers. We'll buy, you know? We could buy a drone for... <laughs> we could buy a drone for <laughs> pillows. So right now we just have an assortment of things that we already had in our yeah. possession. Like That's all storage. we need. It works. And so this is what we have right now. And there is also something I'm going to do with this. If you can see, I have a hinge on this board. The board's heavy, but it also supports two dogs and two people standing on it. And so, we, you made this in a, in a day. It was kind of a quick a fix. <laughs> but yeah, what I'm doing is I'm actually uh, put something that runs along this and pops out with a leg. It may be separate. I may have to like just pop it in. Ah, so, I mean, we just put stuff in bins, but it works perfectly because now if any mold gets in there, nothing will get ruined like last time. Yeah, but also no mold got in this area at yeah. all. But it also keeps it safe from dust and hair, and that's my Wonder Woman costume, yeah. so it's perfect. So, we also checked all of the cabinets for mold, and then he reorganized a few things. But there was apparently mold in there that he cleaned up. And then this is organized a bit better. And then he completely cleaned out the shower. Um... As you guys can see, there's a little bit of mildew, mildew is in and there. stuff. Yeah, but we also have hard water, and so you can't really see it anymore because I'm, I'm, I'm so good at my job. What happened was there's actually some hard calcium buildup mm -hmm. up in like where the slides are. Also, I pulled this out, found a little bit of, you know, the, drain. the gross stuff, keeping our water from going back in. And I cleaned it all the way down to where the P-trap is, so I got some smells. It was pretty good. But I know the functionality of all this. Another issue is... Uh, you see that little dark spot over there? There may still be a little bit of mold there. Um, what I'm gonna do is seal that because there was no seal anywhere. It's just open plastic right there. A seal all the way around the sides, but not right there. And so I'm just gonna kind of- Just seal it in. Just seal it in and deal with it. Seal and deal. Just cause I have too many other projects. <laughs> too many other projects to deal with. So what do you have? Free toys. <laughs> it's a rock. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Buzz still has... No, that's his tongue.
Wait, Buzz is peeing on it. What? <laughs> Brady got it. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> what you got, Brady? Oh, you, you now have a leaf. Ready? Buzz is like a little bunny. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Get it, Buzz! Get it! <laughs> You're just distracting him. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Ready? trees for that. <laughs> All right guys, so I realized that there are quite a few of you that are new to the channel. And since we are talking about organizing our trailer, I figure that it would be fitting to show you guys our actual trailer. But this is our trailer. We do have a few little items underneath, so please excuse the mess. But when you live in a trailer, it's kind of fitting to have things under there. Uh, it keeps them safe from all the weather. We've been having a lot of sprinkling on and off lately, so throwing things under there keeps them safe temporarily. So this is our trailer, and it is a 25-foot mini light rockwood, and we love it. And as you guys can see, we have two doors. One here, this one goes to the bathroom. Awkward, but okay. <laughs> uh, and yeah, this is our little home. So I thought we would show you guys um, in case any of you are new to the channel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 